in Jesus name people of God I greet you all again in the mighty name of Jesus by the special grace of God we are here again with the good news of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ happy Sunday as you have heard from the announcement that is the new update for Holy Ghost deliverance in Christ ministry international by the special grace of God things are moving greatly the good God is doing his work according to his will and purpose things are moving and uh, complement of the season as all of us we are celebrating the anniversary the birth anniversary of our lord and savior jesus christ who is not in the grave he came and fulfilled his work that he was sent for here on earth and he went back to his father he's seated at his right hand pleading on our behalf so my dear brothers and sisters i want you all to be very friendly and loving as this is a gift that god gave the world a precious gift let us pray sweet holy ghost into your hands I commit this moment. By ourselves, we can't able to do anything. Let your name be glorified. Anything that is not of you, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Take control over the platform that we are using. Our listeners, our followers, the entire body of Christ, nations, and their leaders I commit their lives into your hands let your name be glorified take all the praise take all the honor let the blood of Jesus that speak better things begin to speak right now on our behalf and the entire universe we give you praise we give you honor amen by the special grace of God we are moving forward and uh, there is going to be a service on Christmas Day. The very Christmas Eve is Holy Ghost Hour, which is Holy Ghost Deliverance and Baptism. So that Eve, make use of that Eve and the very Sunday I have a message that I will preach by the special grace of God so you can follow. We are not going to tire, we're going to shout the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. As long as the Holy Ghost is here forever, we don't have to be afraid. Even if prayer comes, whatever you are you are going through, I want you to believe, my listener, that you are for this reason that we are here. For this reason, we are here to make sure that the good God elevates you, change your story in Jesus' name. Hooray, by the special grace of God, we are finishing part three today. So, as you can see on the display, the title today is as continue Deliverance in Trap of No Way to Escape. Hooray, we are finishing it. My dear brothers and sisters, God is God. God loves mankind. The devil hates mankind with impunity. Satan hates you for real. It's not something that is hiding. It's not something that you should play with. He really hates mankind. From the beginning of creation, after God finished everything, he placed us, mankind, our our father first father and his wife if the devil came and destroyed 
that particular setting. But because God is love, God names patience, kind, he restores mankind. So in whatever situations you are fighting, you are finding yourself in, in whatever situations that you are stuck, that you see yourself that, oh, it is done. I don't think I have any way to escape this situation that I am. I want you to rest assured, as long as you are serving God, don't give up. That is the new miracle that God wants to project in your life. God will never show up when you are still fighting for yourself. You are making ends meet. God wants to show up because he always wants his name to be glorified. God wants the devil to know that he has authority. He has power. He has dominion everything because he created in in this particular context that we are talking about deliverance in trap of no way to escape is a topic that is very good to hear the story this is the lie the story of the israelites and the egyptians egyptian is god just as i said god uses few people few nations to use them as an example that others will follow and learn from it so egypt is not just particular just but egypt represents non-jew me i belong in that jew in that is egypt category whoever as long as you are not israelite you have belonged to that category so we should learn whatever mistake they did whatever error whatever compromise that happened and god told them god corrected that one so that is how god operate god will choose one person and make that person as an episode he will make that person to look if you do this if you do this this is how things will happen yeah one one way or the other the israelites we are helpful to the egyptians they make egypt to go on the map on the world map just of one ball joseph so that is how god operates it's not that god hates mankind no god doesn't hate mankind in one way or the, or, or the other you saw that when even jesus came everybody herod was chasing jesus where did jesus where did god choose god said go back to egypt so egypt we as a whole as egypt in the in the physical in the in the spiritual context as god used we are special people because when jesus was chased hunted to kill god sent it again and israel and egypt didn't fail their second chance they rescued jesus they protected jesus that is how it is so when god uses particular people particular nations it's not personal so don't take it personal it's just for us to learn how God operates. Let's go to this particular wonderful Exodus chapter 14. Let me finish it today. By the special grace of God, things are working. Let's move. Taking it from verse 20, 23 to 31. I read. Then the Egyptians... All of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and charioteers chased them into the middle of the sea. But just before dawn, the Lord looked down on the Egyptians army from the pillar of fire and cloud, and he drew their forces into total confusion turn around again when god started he said i'm going to make you guys look like you have confused in the eyes of the of the egyptians so what goes around comes around shakuri habasita i don't know whatever confusion you are i don't know whatever situation you find yourself right now is going to be a turnaround 
that last in stone they are making mock of you they are making every caricature of you i see it turning around see what happened she carry her basanta when you read from verse one to go god says say moses i know what is happening but allow me let me plan these things i'm going to make you guys look like funny in the eyes of this your enemy they are chasing you but i'm going to plan it here is another plan again god is master planner he knows how to plan his movement when you are rest in god when you put your hope and trust in god you don't have to worry about anything rest assured just rest assured that that weeping you are going through that pain you are going through that sickness you are going through it's not meant to bury you you are coming out of that situation go turn it around again he said now i'm going to confuse these people now you guys will see them it's going to be a turn around see what god did god look up and brought confusion shakuri habal see what god did in verse 25 he twisted their chariot wheels making their chariots difficult to drive let's get out of here away from these israelites the egyptians shouted the lord is fighting for them against egypt shakuri habal my dear brothers and sisters, as I said, it's time for you. It's coming close by where we, you will watch the face of your enemy while they are in agony. Shataka Barika. Maybe you didn't hear it. I said, it's your time for you to watch the face of your enemy while they are in agony. What they plan for you god is going to turn it against them should carry about god is a god of vengeance just hold on to him just believe in him whatever you are going through my dear brother god sees he hears he's not deaf he's everywhere he knows there are evil plans against you he know there are demonic plans against you he know why you were asleep what they did he know everything because he created it so he knows and my dear brothers and sisters you that are in god you that have put your trust and hope in jesus in yahweh in the holy ghost it's hard time for you to look unto god say god i have given up say god i have given up i want you to come forward i'm going backward I have been forward now I think all my strategies all my patterns all my plans has been failed so I need you now in front you carry Kasitari hammer I see God coming I see God walking I see him walking like a God because he's a God I see him saying my son my daughter just give me way my daughter let me come forward and see what has been going on i'm here to deliver you i'm here to make your enemy look stupid in the eyes of you i'm here to make them look difficult what the plan against you is about to go at them the egyptian the bible said the egyptian began to shout it because we don't know we have all this supernatural power but it seems that they are not working for us anymore it's saying that this situation is above us god is in this situation god is fighting for these people my dear brothers and sisters what you are going through don't give up what you are going through god is about to step as i said god is about to come to town to defeat your enemy the egyptian they said let's get out of here they are not going anywhere they won't just as i said the other day god don't even want their cats 
or whatever creature they have to escape look poor innocent animal the, the horses we are all there verse 26 when all the israelites had reached the other side the lord said to moses raise your hand over the sea again then the water will rush back and cover who and cover the egyptians and their chariots and their chariots shakuri habasita when god comes when god arose when god's anger she carry her back when god says enough is enough who dare you to start Shita? i see god arising in your situation i see god god says moses what you have just as i said the months the months of this the display you, you can display please for that people to see the month that says awake from your sleep awake from your awake from your slumber awake from everything that is the the, the title of this month that god says we have to awake and act to your problem oh carry her moses what do you have in your hands moses i have heard you cry stop the crying act now just act and just obey and just listen she carry her basita what god has told you to do just do it because when you put god in she said he carried but i don't know i can feel the anointing when you put god when god say you go behind let me come now because they are seeing you they are seeing you know just in the case of david and goliath she carry her basita david was very little Goliath was so high and huge and fearful. Even Saul was afraid of Goliath. But because David has God, because David knew, because David was alone, he has dealt, God has dealt with him. Why in wilderness he knew God? He knew when God said, Do this, do this stuff. David knew that God is not a God that should lie, it's not like a man. And David and God said, Moses, just do. Shatiri Haba, verse 7. So as the sun began to rise, Moses raised his hand over the sea, and the water rushed back into its usual place. The Egyptians tried to escape, but the Lord swept them into the sea this is how god is going to deal with those that have vowed those that have taken money those that are serving satan to destroy humanity she carry her to destroy your destiny no could you have you didn't hear that god i say you better be careful when god says i have had in their heart just let them come the more you see the the enemy projecting at you the more the persecution coming that means their destruction time is about to reach she carry about i don't know whoever they are when god when you are serving god when you put god as your whole heart you trust in him my dear brothers and sister by the time we finish this year your story is going to change all your enemies all the evil plans all their characters whatever they have done in secret and in public god she's carry her bus. that suffering that cry you are crying you are weeping you are walking like a shame for somebody oh carry her back. is it not a cause you have jesus you have the holy ghost and god is not able to rescue you no god is coming to town god is about to rescue you see what happened when moses obeyed the instruction that god gave oh the bible said the water rushed back into his into its usual place they tried to escape but the lord swept them into the sea verse 28 
Then the water returned and covered all the chariots and the charioters, the entire army of Pharaoh, and uh, of all the Egyptians who had chased the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one survived. Those ones that are pursuing you in your dreams, in your physical, they have no time. Wherever you go, they are chasing you. Wherever you go, just because they are fighting fault on you, accusing you day and night to bring calamity on you, she tarry her back. I see God, she tarry her back. The body of Christ. Don't worry. You are trapped. You have no way to escape. You have reached at the point that you want to give up. It's a good place. Yes. You didn't hear me. I said yes. No way to escape. You look forward. A big obstacle. And you look backward. You look behind you. You saw your enemy chasing. You say, I don't think I will survive this. Yes, you're going to survive it. As long as you have Jesus, as long as you have the Holy Ghost, whatever evil manipulations, whatever evil strategy, whatever evil gadget, whatever evil plans the devil has against you shall not prosper. Because Jesus is the Lord of all lords. You have the Holy Ghost? Oh, Shitari Abba. That is another plus and credit. The Holy Ghost will fight and destroy and scatter your enemy for your sake. Yes, God is God. Satan is a loser. He has been, been defeated ever since. The Bible says, not a single survived verse 29 but the people of the the people of israel had walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground as the water stood up like a wall on both sides i can see somewhere even you know they were not having if if that happened today with all this camera gadget we have come see Come see how we do. I will just stand like there and do a self Iokashi carry her back. You didn't see me. I will just stand here. I say, you know what? This miracle that the Lord has done, I have to make it to be that my the next generation will see how God delivered us from slavery. Whatever the Bible said, the war, the water stood up like a wall i see god destroying that obstacle i see god making a great way for you to walk by the time we capture 2022 your story will be a different one verse 30 that is how the lord rescue Israel from the hand of the Egyptian that day and the Israelites saw the bodies of the Egyptian washed up on the sea shore what a pathetic but God knows what he did verse 31 the last one when the people of Israel saw the mighty power that the Lord had unleashed against the Egyptians, they were filled with awe before him. They put their faith in the Lord and in his servant Moses. My dear brothers and sisters, Obedience is better than sacrifice. You might feel with the Holy Ghost, but 
the one that God has put in charge of you spiritually that God speak through it's good for you to watch it's good for you to listen to him or her because God has entrusted your deliverance into that particular person by the help of the Holy Ghost you might see that person very wretched not your class or you are very richer than that person or you don't even you don't want don't allow the devil to speak that is how can you just imagine i knew somebody some of the egyptians some of sorry some of the israelites we are even seeing the past of moses they said moses you ran away because you killed somebody you have blood in your hands are you tearing that person past don't bother god has already changed that person or maybe some of you have said oh i know paul he's not anybody you don't even trust him he's not a good guy he has believing in sins and what about that god has washed me i'm a cleansed person the devil, even the devil that told you when you open your eyes and your mouth to tell the devil, you say, get out, don't call that name here. That is how. So accusation, don't be afraid of it. Let people, everybody has passed. Even Jesus, when he came, they began to say, ah, don't listen to Jesus. That's the captain, captain. he's a poor guy. Don't even trust. Don't you know? We know the mother. We know that's not why. Don't why are you wasting your time to listen to Jesus? The double, you know. Don't even listen to him. It's just then you know. This not. It's not the actual Jesus. In fact, if the very people, the very religious people that God was putting prophecy into the mouth of them to prophesy the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus. When Jesus appeared, they deny him. No. Because their expectation, the way they were expecting that God will bring Jesus on earth. I don't know. You have all the right not to believe me. Because that's God's giving right. But <laughs> I don't want you to carry that way. You have right to, to discern, to test, to see whether it's fake or not fake. But the devil, because he's wicked, he don't, the devil don't want you to have deliverance. He don't want you to survive. He wants your soul in hell. He will tell you every evil about God's servant. My dear brothers and sisters, as Christmas, some of you, you are almost at the point to give up. You don't have any trust. You don't have any hope. You say, I don't think I will continue to serve God again. My dear brothers and sisters, please serve God. Please serve Him. Don't allow the devil to fool you what you are going through is temporary god will show up i said god will show up and when god shows up everything will go back to normal everything will go back to victory everything will go back to a place of rest god loves you he wants you to succeed. He wants you to survive. As we are about to close this wonderful teaching, God wants you to live a victorious life. Maybe you are the person God sent me this morning to speak 
you are watching me i say yes i say you let me come you are the reason that god sent me to preach the good news to you god wants you to live a victorious life god wants you to survive that sickness that you are going through oh shakari have that pain that cancer i see god turning it around whatever pain you have in in your entire body god is about to rescue you just trust him don't allow the devil because he came to kill steal and destroy but jesus came to give you more abundant life if you want to give your life to jesus prepare yourself and say this prayer after me by calling your full name say lord jesus i'm tired of my life the way i'm serving it in the kingdom of darkness wash me cleanse me from all iniquity deliver me from the powers of darkness change my name write my name to the book of life deliver me from all harm and danger amen brothers and sisters the holy ghost is upon you as you have said this prayer welcome the authority being invested in me by my father Yahweh in the name of his son's name Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost people of God received the hand touch of the Holy Ghost receive his anointing receive his deliverance receive his breakthrough, I can feel the anointing of Yahweh. Receive it. It's coming upon you right now. From your head onto your toe, I see deliverance. You are feeling the touch of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, deliver your people. Holy Ghost, change your story. I see deliverance no accident no sickness that sick bed a sick bed is not meant for you arise and walk you will not die but you will live those that are traveling here land and sea i cover their lives into the most special blood of jesus no disaster no bad news will visit your family the Holy Ghost and the Holy Angels will guide and protect you from all harm and danger. As we have come to this wonderful teachings, that traps, deliverance trap, that trap you are finding yourself in, that obstacle that is on your way, I see God destroying it. The enemy that are chasing you, I see God destroying it for your sake. You are for signs and wonders receive your miracle receive your deliverance receive your breakthrough you are for signs and wonders in jesus name amen shalom god bless you see you on wednesday as our new calendar and our new programs I love you all. On behalf of my family, we say we love you. Shalom. God bless you. Stay away from trouble. Bye for now. In Jesus' name, amen.